let us say we are having an array of length n so let's say n is equal to 5 that, that is there are 5 elements so we have 10 20 54 60 and 22 so now we have to reverse the array in place so what is in place reversal in place means the values must be reversed in the memory allocated to the array which means in the place of 10 22 must come in the place of 20 60 must come in the place of 54 54 itself must be there in the place of 60 20 must come and in the place of 22 10 must come now if you observe the array is reversed so now how can we achieve this programmatically so now let us look at the implementation logic so n is equal to 5 and let's say the values are 10 20 30 40 and 50 so let us write down the index values so 0 1 2 3 and 4 so we will have one variable called left and we will have another variable called right so left will be pointing to the leftmost value so it is 0 right will be pointing to the rightmost value which is 4 that is, I am talking about the index values, not about the values, but the ind index values of the leftmost and the rightmost values. So now, as long as left is less than right, I am going to swap the values represented by the left and the right index values. So now, I have to swap 10 and 50. So, after swapping, here 50 will come and here 10 will come. So, now I am going to increase left by 1. So, it is 1 and decrease right by 1. So, it is 3. So, is left less than right? Yes, 1 is less than 3. So, now I am going to swap the values. So, at index 1, 20 is there and index 3, that is right is equal to 3, 40 is there. We have to swap. So, here 40 comes and here 20 comes. Then you increase the value, left is 2 and right you decrease, it is 2. Is left less than right? No, because both are equal. So, that is it, you exit. Now, if you observe the array value is 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So, you can observe that the array values are reversed. So, here we are swapping the leftmost, rightmost values and then we are narrowing down, swapping the second leftmost and the last but one, that is the second rightmost and we keep proceeding as long as we come to the midpoint. So, this is an odd length array. So, in an even length array, what will you be doing? Let us say 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60. So, here n is equal to 6. So, even length array. So, we will be swapping 10 and 60. So, 60 will come here and then 10. Then you will be considering 20 and 50 and then swapping. So, 50 here and 20 here. Then you will be considering 30 and 40. So, we will be swapping. So, 40 here and 30 here. Now, if we observe the values are in the reverse order. So, this is how we will be reversing the array. So, now let us accept an array. So, int n scan of and we will declare the array of length n and we will accept the values. So, int index is equal to 0, index less than n, index plus plus. So, we will accept the input values. Okay. So, now we have to swap. So, int left is equal to 
0 the rightmost index value will be n minus 1 ok so now I am having the condition while left is less than right I am going to swap the values so temp is equal to array of left so I will change array of left ok equal to array of right so now I will modify array of right equal to temp so after this you should not leave it as it is because this will give an infinite loop so you have to say left plus plus and then right minus minus so coming out of the loop I will just print the values in the array so index is equal to 0 index less than n index plus plus so I will be printing the values print of percentage d and I will give a space array of index so now let's execute the program so I will give five values so you can see that the values are reversed so let me give an even length array so six values I have given and the values are reversed so based on our discussion please try out this program and thanks for watching